Hello, welcome to today's lesson. And today we are going to talk about the spectral norm, which is also known as the two norm, which is a special type of a matrix norm. So the spectral norm or two norm is denoted by what we can see here, and it is given by this, right? Where this rule here is what we call the spectral radius and it just happens to be the largest in terms of absolute sense the largest of our eigenvalues so when you have a matrix and you are being told to find for the two norm or the spectral norm the first thing you do is that you find the product Q transpose Q. Let's say your matrix is Q. So you find Q transpose Q. So let's say let B be that. So when you find for this, then the next thing is that you find the eigenvalues of B. When you find the eigenvalues of B, in terms of absolute sense, the largest of it becomes the spectral radius and when you find the square root of the spectral radius it gives you the spectral norm so that's how you find for the spectral norm it's very simple so with this question here kill that means to find for the spectral norm the first thing that we have to do is to find kill transpose kill so we let b be that product right so when you find the transpose of this matrix q here you're going to get this and this how much is Q. So when you find the product of Q transpose Q, it's going to give us this particular 3 by 3 matrix here. So now the next thing is for us to find the eigenvalues of this particular 3 by 3 matrix. So in finding the eigenvalues of B, you know we use this formula to find for eigenvalues. As we've learned in our linear algebra course, right, where the I here stands for the identity matrix. So, when you find the determinant of what is inside, you're going to end up with this. So, this is a 3 by 3 matrix, you're supposed to find a determinant. So, when you continue with the steps, you're going to get a characteristic equation to be negative lambda q plus 2 and 3 lambda square notice 2 and 3 happens to be the trace this happens to be the principal minor and this happens to be the determinant of a so you are going to get this as a characteristic equation so this is a cubic polynomial and when you solve this you get three roots so in solving this cubic polynomial here we get the first one to be 120.293, which is lambda 1. We get lambda 2 to be 67.0327. And we get lambda 3 to be 25.6741. So, meaning that this is our first eigenvalue, our second eigenvalue, and the third eigenvalue. So, all these are positive. So you realize that when you compare these three again values that we have found, the largest of them is what in terms of absolute sense is lambda one, which is 120.293. So it means this happens to be our spectral radius. So that means to find for our spectral norm, we have to find the square root of the positive square root of this. 120.293 and that gives us our spectral norm so you realize our spectral radius is this then our spectral norm is a positive square root of our spectral radius and when you find that that gives us 10.967817 so two six decimal places so i hope you understood how we solved it so when you have a matrix A, 
you know, want to find the spectral norm, we said you first have to find the product A transpose A. So you let's see, let's be with that. After that, you find for the eigenvalues of B. In terms of absolute sign, the largest of them becomes the spectral radius. When you find the square root of the spectral radius, you get your spectral norm. Okay. So let's solve a second example on the spectral norm. So this is the second example we are going to solve. So with this, we have a 4x4 four four matrix here. So we have to find the spectral norm of this particular matrix here. So remember, we first have to find the product our matrix transpose itself. So M transpose M. And this is M transpose and this is M. So this is M transpose and this is M. So when you find the product of these 4x4 four four matrices, you know it's going to be tedious. So I've done everything here. You're going to get this 4x4 four four matrix here. Alright? So when you get this 4x4 four four matrix here, you know now this is your B. So the next thing for you to do is to find the argument values of B. And you find it for the argument values of even 3x3 three three matrices are a bit tedious. So how much more 4x4? Four four? But we don't have a C, we have to do that. So... When we find the argument values of B, we use this particular formula here. And I've cut everything short for you because you are interested in the spectral norm. So, when you go to find the determinants of that 4x4 four four matrix there, using this relation, you are going to have this characteristic equation, which is going to be of order 4. So, you can see that here. So, that means that when you solve this particular equation we are supposed to get four roots so when we solve this particular equation we get our first argument value to be 144 the second to be 116.58 the third to be 106.691 and the last one to be 56.7294 so you realize that we have these four argument values because we had a 4x4 four four system. I hope you get it. Alright, so with these four argument values, we ask ourselves in terms of magnitude, you know they are all positive. So we want to find the absolute values of them, you get the same thing. So in terms of magnitude, which of them is the largest? So you realize that of course it is lambda 1, which is 144. So that means in this case, this 144 here is our spectra radius and you should know our spectral number is just going to be the positive square root of 144 which will give us 12 so let's come here so the spectral radius is 144 and the spectral norm is going to be square root of 144 which is going to give us 12 All right so please subscribe to our channel for more videos and please don't forget to like the video if it helps you so by the way i'm going to kind of enough a tedious student of mathematics at the Kramer Kumar University of Science and Technology. Thank you very much.